Good morning. This is Kello Land on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. A family in Harrisburg will be returning home later today to survey what remains of their home that's been heavily damaged in a fire. The call came in just after 2 o'clock this morning to Cottonwood Drive in Lois Lane in southwest Harrisburg. The home was fully involved by the time firefighters arrived. No one was inside and no one has been hurt. The Lincoln County Emergency Manager tells us that the family is away attending a hockey tournament in Minnesota. The Red Cross will be working with the family because the emergency manager says the family lost everything in the fire. Crews from Harrisburg, T and Sioux Falls responded. The cause is under investigation. Local artists are doing their part to ensure that every student in the Sioux Falls district has a warm meal at school. They gathered at the Falls Overlook Cafe at Falls Park to display and sell their works as part of a fundraiser on Saturday. The Operation Hopeful event sold raffle tickets for $5, the cost of breakfast for, and lunch for just one student. Many of the vendors have children in school or were once students in the district themselves. Organizers say it's important that every student have access to a meal. We just really want people to know how important it is for the community to come together. I mean, there's, even if you don't have kids in the school district, it still affects your community. If you don't have kids that are properly nourished, you know, it's, it's just really important. This is so important. The group raised $1,700 from the raffle. Now that the rush of holiday shopping is over, businesses are still urging people to shop local to provide a midwinter boost to the economy. They say not only is shopping in store a far different experience compared to going online, but shopping local also allows you to support the business and the local community. A Hartford business owner is crediting local shoppers for not only allowing her to have success, but also allowing her to redirect some of her profits to fundraisers and charities. If you spend your money here at my specific business, not only are you supporting my business, you're also supporting me as an individual, as a family, who then is sending my child to that school, but then my business is also supporting the events that your child is doing at your school. So it's really just like a huge circle. In May, the Hartford Chamber of Commerce will be holding a Discover Hartford event, which encourages people to shop local. Let's take a first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Rutt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. At the top of this little uh, cut-in, you saw Aberdeen, which was looking quite nice. But we don't look that way in Sioux Falls. A lot of fog in southeastern Kelloland 10 with not much of a breeze, if any, to speak of at the airport. So that fog is going to be sticking around. Visibility is pretty poor in southeastern Kilolin, below a quarter of a mile. Sioux Falls to Worthington and to Harrisburg as well. Uh, Watertown also seeing some dense fog at times up to Ortonville and just a little bit east of Sisseton. We do have dense fog advisories in place until noon to the north and west. To the southeast, it's until 9 a.m. It would not surprise me if they extended that dense fog advisory as well. Otherwise, it's a cold start to the day. Zero in Huron and Mitchell. Eight degrees below zero in Aberdeen. Two below zero in Ortonville. Six for Yankton. Ten Worthington and Spencer. Eight in Pier. But 28 in Spearfish. 15 Rapid City and Custer. We do have a little bit of everything to talk about in the extended forecast. We'll break down those details coming up. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Well, it is a housing trend that's growing in popularity, blending home life with the workplace. They're called shouses, a combination of shop and houses, or if you prefer a more rural moniker, barn dominiums. So we look into the appeal of these types of homes and find out if living in a shouse is an affordable option for your family tonight and I on Kelloland at 10. The Greater Sioux Falls Outdoor Show is everything you need to cure your cabin fever this weekend. The outdoor show is taking place at the Expo Center of the WH Line Fairgrounds and features a large selection of campers, RVs, motorhomes, boats, pontoons, motorcycles, and ATVs. There will also be fishing equipment sales plus information and product booths. Today's hours are from 10 to 4. Tickets are $9, free for children 12 and under. The Dakota Spirit Valentine's Classic Dance and Cheer Competition wraps up today with cheer team competitions at the Sanford Pentagon. Activities begin at 8 a.m. The tickets are $15. Great Bear Ski Valley in Sioux Falls is open for skiing and snowboarding from 9 to 6. The Tubing Hill is open from 9 to 4.30. And movies playing at the Historic State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls include Corsage, Marcel the Shell with Shoes On, and Leon the Professional. Adam?
Well, we had some clearer views this morning. Uh, Aberdeen was an example a little bit earlier. Rapid City had a nice sunrise, so did Lake Madison. But then for every nice view, you had a murky one, like what we had in Sioux Falls. Pier also dealing with a decent bit of fog earlier this morning. But we'll have cloud cover building back in as we head over the course of your day. Moisture, though, is going to be confined to either the Great Lakes with a system continuing to push to the east or a cold front up toward Montana and southwestern Canada, which which will gradually make its way over here, but not really amount to much beyond the chance for a couple of scattered snow showers as we head to the start of the week. In fact, uh, much of the first half of the extended outlook is largely quiet beyond those hit or miss snow showers. By Wednesday, we do start to increase that chance for a little bit of snow, especially out west. We could see a few inches of light accumulation, especially toward the hills. And then we watch Friday. As we have another low that's going to come on in and give us a little bit of everything. Here's 9 p.m. Thursday. Start to see that in North Dakota. We'll see that rain snow chance going into Friday with milder temperatures building in. But then we have to watch the thermometer from there. We'll be pretty close to average in a couple of locations as we go through Wednesday and even Thursday for that matter. But Friday we see a brief bump on the thermometer with a push of milder temperatures coming in. There's 9 a.m. Friday, for example. But then watch what happens up toward Canada. Arctic air reloads for the end of the month. It comes plunging down into the northern plains. Odds for below average temperatures win out as we head into the end of January and the start of February. So keep that in the back of your mind. Today, though, we're talking about 20s and a couple of upper teens. East River 30s and 40s to the west. East River locations also having to deal with a decent bit of fog at times, not just today but also overnight going into your early morning time frame on Monday. So a couple of things to keep in mind as you go through the next about 24 or so hours. Beyond the fog to the east, single digits and teens for lows there. To the west, we're talking about teens and 20s. For your day on Monday, everybody gets in on seasonably mild temperatures. 30s across the board. Morning fog will give way to a healthy mix of sun and clouds. The rest of your seven day forecast has a few flurries Monday and then again on Wednesday after that 34 on Monday. We're back in the 20s for the midweek outlook back up into the mid 30s on Friday with that rain and snow chance there as well. Mainly snow the further south and east you go and then also toward a western Kelloland. But then Saturday comes around. Two things happen. One, we have another chance for snow and two, those colder temperatures really start to build in. So you will want to keep that in mind as you head toward the end of the month. Have a great day, everybody. Be safe as you head out. Uh, for more on your local news, weather and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.